Hi, this is Shamin here from Adobe Shamin YouTube channel, Facebook page, and Instagram. So you can follow me there. And do you think this video is helpful for you? Please give a thumbs up and share with your family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification. Then you can find whenever I'm uploading new videos. So, all right, this is a surface area of cuboid geometry class all right so let's get started make sure pen and paper with geometry box it can help you to understand it can help you to do together all right so here you can see this is a cuboid guys that is the length here given six centimeter this length six centimeter long eight centimeter that is the uh, breadth and uh, that is the height is a 10 centimeter height so here is the question number one. A cuboid is six centimeter long, eight centimeter wide, ten centimeter height. Calculate its total surface. We need to figure out the total surface area. So how will do it? Yes, this is a formula, guys. Formula can help you. Two, that is the surface area of the cuboid. Two times LW, L means length, W, here is a W, you can write also LB, so here is a breadth or width and length and height and here is a height, uh, here is a breadth and height, you can also write BH or WH, okay, so here is a length 6 centimeter times 8 centimeter and 6 cm long and height is a 10 cm, 8 cm that is the wide and height is a 10 cm so we just multiply it very easy guys I'm just showing very quickly so you just add it you multiply 6 is 8 times 48 6 is a 10 times 60 8 is a 10 times 80 so we just add it so it will be 376 this is a uh, square centimeter all right let's go next one here is another problem pause the video and try to do it and come back again if you're not doing this then you can do it uh, with me yes so here is the question number two a cubit is six centimeter long four centimeter wide and three centimeter height so this is six centimeter so this is obviously six centimeter all right so here is a this is wide that is four centimeter so this is definitely four centimeter and height three centimeter this is three centimeter and this is also three centimeter so here's the formula formula can help us this is surface area of the cuboid that is two times um, here is the LB so length this is six centimeter alright this is also six centimeter this is also six centimeter and there is another part there, there is also six centimeter so that's why here is a two so length times breadth length times height and here is a breadth times height alright so we just, mul we just write down whatever you have this is already given here long six um, six centimeter long four centimeter breadth so six is a four times twenty four six is a three times this is eighteen four is a three times twelve so we just add all the number here this is 54, 54 is a 2 times 108, so this is um, 108 square centimeter, alright, because here is a 2. Okay, so let's go next one. So here is a, another problem. So you just, you just pause the video, try to do it, alright. If not, then I can help you. So this is a cubit 120 millimeter long, 10 millimeter wide, 96 millimeter height. Calculate the total surface area. This is the same thing, guys. You just um, you just write the formula. You remember the formula? Surface area of the cuboid, that is the formula. 
LB plus LH plus BH. So length here is a length is 120 millimeter. All right, this is the long. How much is this? 120. And here is a wide that is uh, that is 10 millimeter and height this is 96. So just write ever write whatever you have length and breadth, length and height and breadth and height. Just do it. All right. So you just multiply then. So. If you multiply, then it will be 120 times 10, it will be 1200. 120 times 96, it will be 11,520. 10 times 96, it will be 960. So we just add it, whatever we have. So that is 13,680 times 2 so th this is 27,009 uh, sorry 360 so this is uh, our answer yes so it's easy guys if you keep practicing and practice and practice so it will be easy another problem is a little bit different so here is the problem first you read the question the interior of a godown is 4 meter long. How much is this? This is 4 meter long and 3 meter wide and the ceiling of the godown 4 meter high. That means height is 4 meter. This is ceiling. So if this godown was to be filled completely with the shoe boxes. So here is the boxes and is measuring 40 centimeter. This is not a meter. This is 40 centimeter. And uh, this is a wide that is 30 centimeter and height that is 10 centimeter height. How many shoe boxes could be placed in the go down? So how I'll do it? Very difficult. No, we just uh, do it. Uh, here is a formula. Yes, formula can help us. This is a formula. Volume of the go down. So volume of the go down that is length times that is width times height. All right. So this is uh, length, height, and uh, height, and this is breadth. So we just multiply. So here is a meter is a three times so it will be cube 48 cube meter let's go next one next step that is here is the boxes so boxes also measuring here volume of the shoe boxes that is same thing here 40 centimeter centimeter so we just convert <coughs> excuse me so we just convert it that is the dimension of shoe box into meter so you, we know that that is the 100 centimeter equal to 1 meter. So here is a centimeter that is the 40 centimeter that means 40 divided by 100. So we just cross it 0 and here is a so it will be 4.4 0 0.4 meter. This is the same thing, 30 divided by 100, 10 divided by 100, so it will be 0 0.1 meter. So we just, add, uh, we just multiply. So if I multiply, so it will be 0 0.012, that is cube meter. So maximum number of shoe boxes possible in the go down. That is the volume of the go down divided by volume of one shoe boxes. So 48 divided by. So this is the uh, this is the shoe boxes volume of the shoe boxes. So it will be 48. That is the go down. 48 divided by 0.012. So here is a point. If I will remove the point, it will be one here, and here is a three digit. So we just write here three zero here. All right. So 
sorry guys, it will be 48, this one. So 12, 12 is a 3, uh, 3 is a 4 times, 3 is a 4 times 12 and 4, 4 is a 1 times 4, 4 is a 2 times 8. Now 3 is a 4 times 12, that means 4,000. So this is 4,000, um, 4,000 meter. Alright, so we got the answer. That is the maximum number of shoe boxes possible. Oh, sorry, not a meter. Sorry, guys. This is um, this is a shoe boxes maximum number of the shoe boxes possible in the go down. That is four thousand shoe boxes. How many? Four thousand. So guys, I hope that's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you soon with another new video. And keep watching and keep practicing. That's all for today. Thank you very much.